Hello beautiful ones in heart consciousness, in the portals to heart consciousness. Today I come with Nali. I thought it would be nice for you to meet Nali and it's nice for Nali to be really totally outside. So today it's about Anakaspi. Anakaspi is not only the place where we hold our retreats, it is actually the tree that you can see now behind us. And as you know, nature can be our biggest teacher and can show us and teach us so many things. So in order to come into heart consciousness and really go through these portals, it's actually important to be like an Anakaspi tree. You may ask, apart from being beautiful, what does the Anakaspi has so special? Well, the Anakaspi is pushing away its bark when it's filled with insects and just animals within that don't serve her anymore. So she can literally shed her skin almost like a, a um, serpent. Nali is getting a bit tense here, that's okay, she will be fine. So imagine you are the same when things are, come here Nali, show yourself. Yeah, Nali is here. You want to be in the camera, right. She's also very good in heart consciousness, as you can imagine, very congruent with herself. So let's go back to the Anakaspi tree and the story that I want to tell you today. Sometimes under our skin, there are many things they don't really serve us. And often it's past experiences, roller coasters, pain and conflict. And sometimes we're really wondering, how can we get rid of it? Well, if we would be an Anakaspi tree, we would just let our bark go. So I'm wondering, how can we let our bark go? If we look at the bark as a skin, just like the serpent, maybe we're inviting you for a little journey today to actually shed your bark. So all these insects and all these things that have been cooking under your skin that have stopped you from being in your heart and live your life fully when you let that skin go you actually expose them and they have no more place to be at home in you you actually start from scratch and you allow yourself to grow a new skin a skin without all these disturbances these disruptions, these confusions, these frustrations, and maybe even anger. So let us do a very short journey with Nali here. And let me just take you to the Anakaspi tree. So if you sit up or you want to lie down for a moment. Focus on your breath. Relax, release the tension in your body, in your mind, in your emotions and in your senses. Imagine you're in your luminous body. And in that body, you kind of shape shift into the Anakaspi tree. Becoming fully aware of all the disturbances, the interruptions, the fears and the pain, the conflict and the dilemmas. Even the attacks, the frustrations, bothering you within, 
under your bark. All of you being glorious anacaspi trees with the sparks that are filled with disrup disruption. You are itchy inside. Imagine you really connect now to this ability of the anacaspi tree and break your bark. Break it open. So all that holds you, all that interrupts you, that bothers you, is set free. Let it all go. When you let it go, be grateful for what it brought to you. is your heart. Enjoy every moment as you become empty. connecting deeper and deeper to your heart. Noticing your beauty. Your treasures are all shown. Your vulnerability and your trust. Imagine you are just a light. consciousness.
consciousness that brings you the power to create, the power to connect, allows you to care for yourself, this world, and all relations, allows you to be clear. So let us thank Anna Kaspi for its beautiful story. And imagine now you're growing a new bark. Not because you need protection, but because it's part of who you are. And really your new bark is light, the light that is your heart. And slowly bring your consciousness now back into your here and now. Take a deep inhale and exhale. slowly come back. When you're ready, blink your eyes open, fully awake, fully present, fully here. So again, how wonderful to share the Anakaspi experience with you right in front of a beautiful tree. How beautiful to be with you in heart consciousness. Remember, we're really keen on how this experience was for you. We're really keen to know and we're really keen to answer you and help you when you write your comment. In addition, if you haven't subscribed yet, this is a wonderful opportunity. And remember, every week you get one or two videos from us and a live and so much more. See you soon.